angels and ministers of grace defend us. Be thou the spirit of health, our goblin damned. Bring with thee heirs of heaven or blast from hell. Thou comest in such a questionable shape that I'll speak to thee. Mark me. I will. Hours almost come when I, the sulfurous and tormenting flames, must render up myself. Alas, poor ghost. Pity me not, but lend thy serious hearing to what I shall unfold. Speak. I'm bound to hear. I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and for the day confined to fasting fires till the foul crimes done in my days of nature are burnt and purged away. that I am forbid to tell the secrets of my prison house, I could a tale unfold whose lightest word would harrow up thy soul. Freeze thy young blood. Make thy two eyes like stars start from their spheres. Thy knotted and combined locks to part in each particular hair to stand on end like quills upon the fretful porpentine. This eternal blazon must not be the ears of flesh and blood. List. List, oh, list, if thou didst differ thy dear father. Oh, love. God. Revenge is foul and most unnatural murder. Murder. Murder most foul, as in the best it is, but this most foul, strange, and unnatural. Given out that sleeping in my orchard a serpent stung me. So the whole ear of Denmark is by a forged process of my death rankly abused. But know thou, noble youth, the serpent that did sting thy father's life now wears his crown. Uncle. I, an incestuous, that adulterate beast with witchcraft of his wit, with traitorous gifts, wicked wit and gifts that have the power so to seduce. One to his shameful lust the will of my most seeming virtuous queen. Oh, Hamlet, what a falling off was there from me, whose love was of the dignity that it went hand in hand even of the vow I made to her in marriage, and to decline upon a wretch whose natural gifts were poor to those of mine. Thinks I sent the morning air. Brief, let me be. Sleeping within my orchard, my custom always of the afternoon, upon my secure hour, thy uncle stole, with juice of cursed heaven on in a vial. And in the porches of my ears did pour the leprous distillment whose effect holds such an enmity with blood of man that swift as quicksilver it courses through the natural gates and alleys of the body. And with a sudden vigor it doth posit and curd like eager droppings into milk the thin and wholesome blood. So did it mine. Thus was I sleeping by a brother's hand. On the house of disappointed and an ill no reckoning made, but sent to my account with all my imperfections on my head. Horrible. Horrible, most horrible. If thou hast nature in thee, bear it not. And let the royal bed of Denmark be a couch for luxury and damned incest. Howsoever thou pursuest this acting on thy mind, and let thy soul contrive against thy mother. What? Leave her to heaven. To those thorns which in her bosom lodge to prick and sting her. 
Freddy where I want. Remember me. The time is out of joint.